I have an 8 gigabyte Zoom, but the battery's shot, so why not replace the battery? Let's do it. Let's talk tools. I've got my iFixit kit, some prying tools, soldering iron, and maybe, just maybe, helping hands. That should be everything that I need for this job. First thing we need to do is remove this cover. There's actually two screws underneath here. Let's try metal, a little bit thinner. There we go. So you see I just kind of got in between there and popped it back. Once that's off, you will see there's actually two little tri-wing screws. So we're going to grab my iFixit driver. After a little trial and error, these are actually just zero. Tri-wing or Y. Okay, to set those screws aside. And now that those screws are out, you start prying around the edges here. So again, I'm just going to grab my pry tool here, get in between, and just start leveraging and see if we can get the two sides pried apart. There we go. You see that first snap. Once you get it started, should be pretty easy just to go around the edge here. Now the device is open, we've got a bunch of screws inside here that we got to start taking out. And these are going to be the same size screws. So you've got your Y or try zero. And that looks like it. So three. Let's see if this pops out now. Been holding on to it. Oh, there's a ribbon cable. There's actually a ribbon cable right there. So you got to be careful. You don't want to rip that out. So what we're going to do now is this, this ribbon cable up here. We're just going to carefully disconnect this. Seems like it's glued down. So you're just going to kind of peel that up a little bit, get that glue up. Once you've done that, this board can now flip. And this right here, this ribbon cable, you can disconnect it. You just got to lift up this little plastic lift here. And that pops off. Then we can remove this cable completely. So same thing, pop up the little plastic and then that cable comes right out. Set that aside. Now we can remove this whole board. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this antenna here. So we can get this out of the way. And we're actually going to take this right out of here. There we go. And that whole piece comes right off. So noticing a ribbon cable down underneath this board in here. And I definitely need to remove that. Because then what you've got is that's where the battery connects which is we're going to have to desolder and resolder the new battery, but you also have the batteries glued down in there. It's hard to see, but I'll show you after I pull it out. 
So the first thing I need to do is disconnect this because this cable is connected. So let's see if I can grab that up. Okay, got that cable pulled up. Still need to get all this glue out though, and I don't like that I'm messing with this battery so much. Because these batteries are pretty dangerous. But we gotta get this glue off. Okay, so that popped off that board, which is what we wanted, so I disconnected that cable right there. That's just like a little buffer that can come out. Now we maybe see this battery a little bit better. Yeah, it's just glued down. So, again, tough to see, but there's just a bunch of glue between the screen and the battery. So I gotta try and get that off. I'm just gonna shove this spudger in between. Hopefully I can kind of pry up all that glue. Every once in a while I just look back down in there and see where the glue is remaining and just kind of make sure I focus on that spot. Alright, I finally got it. There's our battery. I'm not happy how much I had to beat it up, but there we go. So you just see a whole bunch of glue that was holding this battery to that board. So all we should have to do is disconnect these wires, reconnect the same corresponding wires, and we should be good. Put everything back together. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a picture of exactly what colors are going in here so that I can just work off that picture after I desolder everything. Alright, you see I've got the board here. Here's all your solder connections. So I'm just going to start desoldering these. Well, I'm going to go ahead and actually grab the wire I want to remove with some tweezers and see if that will help me pull it off. There we go. White removed. I'm going to be careful because I don't really want any of these wires to touch. We'll go with blue next. Okay, blue removed. Black. And lastly, red. Okay, and there's our battery. Now let's try and attach the new battery. So we got our new battery, same connectors. So let's start with bottom left, which is red. Now I should just be able to reuse this solder that's already here. That's my plan. Just gonna warm up this pad. All right, and then pretty simple, you're just gonna warm up the pad, put that wire down as long as it's down, you're good. Um, biggest thing is you just don't wanna cross anything. So bottom right now is black. Okay, top left is white, perfect, and then last we got blue. Alright, 
I think we are good. Let's put everything back together. I guess we could connect it without the battery on. So let's try that. I'm going to try and connect this ribbon cable without the battery in. So that should give us a lot more play. Seems like it's in, but then it's not. There we go. Alright. <laughs> I finally got that one. That was not easy. Just kind of had to keep keep playing with it until it was connected. Alright, so now that that's connected, this can flip back. So after putting this back together for the first time, it wasn't working. And I noticed something that I missed. What I want to show you is... There's a little screw right here. Now that holds this board down. This board can pop out without removing that screw, but I'll show you why that screw is there. So remove that screw, and then once you remove that screw, this board can pop up. And that'll allow you to kind of move everything out of the way. And then there is still that ribbon cable right there, so you want to be careful of that. But if you flip this up, what you'll see is right here, that is actually a click-in connector that fits to a spot on this board. And I actually didn't push that into place. That was making the touch wheel on the front not work, as well as actually making the unit restart. So now... What we want to do is you're going to push this board into place and you're actually going to feel that and you're going to feel that kind of click into place and then once that's in place you put the screw in and you should be good and now back to your regularly scheduled program next ribbon cable it shouldn't matter which way you put it because they look about they look identical on both sides I think that's in. So go ahead and close the latch. Okay. We gotta bring back our other piece here. So this one, we went like this. So first thing, let's just reconnect this ribbon cable. There we go. Okay. And this is just going to go back down like that. We got two things we got to run. So I got to run this little antenna down the side here. See if I can squeeze it between the battery. And then on this board, it connects. Let's see if I can get you to see it there. There's a little spot right there. That this needs to push into. Okay, finally got it. <laughs> Sorry, that one was not easy. Okay. And then this is going to come back this way and go back up this way. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's supposed to go that way. I mean, that's pretty much what we've got. Okay, and then I'm just gonna slip this little buffer into place. Tucks underneath this board. Right like that. 
And then how I'm going to put this back plate on is you do need to worry about the lock button on the top matching up with the little slider on this board here. So they're both all the way to that side. So I'm just going to drop the bottom on first. And then once that bottom's on, I'm just going to kind of look in here, match up where everything lines up and then just shove it together. And if everything looks like it's snapped into place, which it does, I'm gonna go ahead and just test that slider. And you can see the lock button, that is working, so it's perfect. All right, so we got our last two little screws on top. So we've got one last piece, and that's the little chrome cover here. And how this is going to go back in, you've got your two teeth. Those actually go to the top. So you're going to start by just pushing that into place as best you can on the back. And if you kind of play around with it enough, it should drop into place. All right, that is finally in. So I actually came down from the top and just kind of pushed on the back here to get that to slide in. But all right, let's see how we did. Controls are still working, perfect. We got full battery indicator, which is great. I think the install was successful. So what did I think of that repair? Wow, that was a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Definitely doable. I did get it done. Just very basic soldering skills. The rest is just getting everything put back properly and making sure everything's secure. But everything from popping the unit open to peeling that battery off to getting everything back into the right place, that was definitely a high difficulty repair for me. I really just enjoy tinkering with electronics like this and getting it back into working order. So either way, I'm happy that I did it. All right guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.